I've talked about this before, and somewhere out there, there was an enemy, a real enemy, a real man, a person, a human that was waiting for me and that was preparing for me. Therefore, I needed to prepare for him. I needed to be ready. I needed to be the things I always talk about. I needed to be stronger and faster and smarter and better so that when we did meet on the battlefield, I would be ready for that rendezvous, for that meeting, that fate, that battle. And that thought of the enemy, it, yes, it absolutely fueled me. And when I was a leader in the SEAL teams in charge of men, it was even more profound because I was thinking about that rendezvous for everybody that I led, everyone I was in charge of, everyone that I trained. And I felt that burden, the burden of responsibility to prepare those men and protect those men, those warriors, my brothers. So now I am no longer a combat leader. I no longer prepare men for war. So the drive now and the motivation now is from my friends, my brothers. It's from those seals that I knew and that I cared about more than anything. And that they sacrificed everything for us and for me. And now I cannot help but think and remember that every breath that we take, it's a gift. It's a sacred gift from those men. Every day we have, every sunrise, every thought and every smile and every laugh, it's a gift. And I will treasure that gift, that gift of life. And I will not let it go to waste, not one second of it. And I will cherish every moment of it, and I will live it. I will live it in their memory. in their honor.